Let's take a look at how we can go into Outlook 2019 and add an account manually. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And I'm going to put in name here. And now it's going to look for accounts, any accounts that might have been added in the past. And it'll see if it can find any. I'll go ahead and delete that one. Let's go ahead and add in this other one. Now, I could go ahead and collect, uh, connect automatically, but what I want to do for this video is choose the manual option. So let's go ahead and click Connect. And it's giving me a few options here. We have the Office 365, Outlook.com, and Exchange options. We also have Gmail, Pop, and IMAP. So let's go ahead and choose the Office 365 way. And it said that it found it automatically. Let's go ahead and cancel that. And we'll, we'll go ahead and load uh, Outlook 2019 one more time. And we'll do the same thing. But this time we're going to choose a different option. So we're going to choose the Exchange option. So we're back in our list. Let's go ahead and choose Exchange. And it added it successfully as an Exchange. Even though this is an Office 365, it still gave us the uh, account added as an Exchange. Now, if we want to, we can also add additional email addresses, but I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And let's take a look at the settings that Outlook 2019 now allows us to change under the Account Setup. So if we go into File, Account Settings, and we can see our account is added. So let's go ahead and click Change. And we'll click on More Settings. So we don't see a lot of the same options that we saw before in Outlook 2016 uh, or in previous versions of Outlook. Let's go ahead and click Next. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at our data file. And there is the location where the data is going to be saved. So in previous versions, it allowed us to go in and make changes to the manual connection to Outlook, and it also allowed us to go in and use uh, certificates that may not have been public certificates. But in this new version of Outlook 2019, we don't see any of those other options by default. The manual way we used to add accounts using RPC over HTTP, using Outlook Anywhere, is no longer supported, and you can't even go into the registry to manually override it like you could in Outlook 2016 or 2013. So you're really going to be stuck with Mappy at this point, which means that you're going to have to use a newer Exchange server or Office 365 going forward. So unfortunately, they took away some of the abilities to uh, manually configure our connections to our Exchange servers. So that is the new Outlook 2019. Try not to shoot the messenger.